Praise God. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved church family. Wednesday evening worship service. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So excited to be here as always. Praise God. Oh, my goodness. God is head over heels in love with you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And Holy Spirit anointing is reigning within. Hallelujah. God's light is shining through you like never before. I believe and declare that in Jesus' name. Praise God. We have a lot to go through, praise God, tonight and what Holy Spirit has lined up for us. And glory to God as we lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, blessing Lord Jesus Christ, and just being transparent with our Heavenly Father and allowing His anointing to flow. Amen. In a moment, we're going to pray, but I'm just going to ask you to be prepared. We're going to be in Colossians 3, and we're going to go through the entire chapter of Colossians 3. Amen. Now, I confess to you, I had something different. I had something different. The Holy Spirit was working on me and working with me and working through me earlier today. Glory to God. And when we were done, hallelujah, <laughs> Pastor John will tell you the same thing. Holy Spirit said, that was for you. And I said, oh, thank you, Lord. And I said, well, what do we have for Wednesday? And then this is exactly what Holy Spirit has in store for us. Praise God. So pray for me. Praise God. Once again, I just want to thank you and your entire family. Hallelujah. To just... Come together. Glory to God. Um, you know, let's do something different. Let's just hold hands with one another. You're in, you're in your house. Praise God. God's house. Amen. And let's hold hands with one another. And uh, if you have children, you know, even if they're doing their homework or they're busy, I'm just going to take a moment. I'm going to ask you to call out to them. You know, call out to them. Say, hey, come on. You know, there's church. And I understand not everybody can sit there at this very moment and be in the worship service. But Holy Spirit asks for us, wherever you're at, wherever you're at in this world, in the community, amen, God asks us right now, will you call on your beloved, your family, your children, your grandchildren, great-grandchildren, amen, just call on them right now. If you notice, God's asked, we have so much to go through. Listen, beloved church family, this isn't me, I'm just being obedient what Holy Spirit's asking us to do, praise God. And right now, God is saying, grab hands. Many of you are already doing it. Let's all grab, grab hands. Hallelujah. Let's all pray together. Amen. Y'all ready? Praise God. I know there's a few of you right now going, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And praise God. That's what Holy Spirit's telling me. So we're just going to wait. Let's pray. Father, as we all hold hands with one another, Father God, even those right now who are just like me, just holding on to you, Holy Spirit, and all your angels around us. Father, as one in you, Lord Jesus Christ, unified as your body, we are all members of your body, Lord Jesus Christ. We plead your holy blood, Father God, and through the power and anointing of your Holy Spirit, Father, as we hold one another, we boldly declare that the hands that we touch, Father God, is your hand. And we bless these hands, Father God, as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, for life-changing revelation and your presence, your resurrection power, Holy Spirit, that flows through every one of us as your beloved children. We lift up your name, Lord Jesus Christ. We cover ourselves with your blood. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, that your breath is in us for all of eternity. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, wait, wait, wait. Don't leave. Don't leave. Give each other a high five. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Give each other a high five. And if you're by yourself, remember you're never alone. Holy Spirit's in you. Praise God. Give Holy Spirit a high five. And don't forget God's angels all around your house. Amen. Praise God. All around you, fighting for you, protecting you. Glory to God. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. In Jesus' name, praise God. And uh, hallelujah. I pray that you prayed for me. Because remember, I'm just a mouthpiece. We only go through Lord Jesus Christ. He is our Lord, our Savior. And Holy Spirit is our only teacher. It's all about Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Has nothing to do with us. Amen. We are just his beloved children worshiping our Father. Amen. Worshiping God Almighty. Say it with me. Agape. Amen. Who's agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. All glory to God our Father. Amen. Let's start. Colossians 3, starting, remember, we're going to go through the whole chapter, amen? Since then, you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Now, when God 
charges us through his written word. When you see Lord Jesus Christ, amen, when you see Lord Jesus Christ in the written word, in the Holy Bible, and you hear it out of God's mouth through Lord Jesus Christ, and you feel it in Holy Spirit, in you and in me, when God says, do not fear, right? Right? When God says, therefore, when God says, don't you know, when God says, set your heart, when God says, don't let, right? These are things right now that God is, is charging us right now to just know in the name of Lord Jesus Christ that you have the power to set your thoughts. That you have the power not to act like the rest of the world. You have the power to love and honor your parents. You have the power to love and honor one another. You have the power to realize that I am a child of God and I'm not going to act like the demons of this world. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Let's move on. Praise God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden within Christ in God. So glory to God immediately in Colossians, Holy Spirit is teaching us, know who you are. Hallelujah. This past Sunday, praise God, we TKO the devil, amen. We TKO every demon, amen. And how do we TKO? We trust that Jesus Christ is Lord. We trust in agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. We know, hallelujah, we know that God loves us because we know that Jesus Christ is who he is, the Messiah, the perfect one who came from heaven, the perfection, right? The perfection of God, his perfect word, amen? His incorruptible word, his perfect word, faith, hallelujah, left heaven to come here to this fallen world to save you and me, amen? And the reason why he did that is when he is glorified in his resurrection, we overflow now in his holy presence living within, amen? Say it with me, I am a beloved child of God. Praise God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore. Therefore, hallelujah. <laughs> glory. It's therefore a reason, amen. Whatever belongs to your earthly nature. Remember, beloved church family, for those of you who have received Lord Jesus Christ, the old is dead and gone. You see, there's a lot of deception right now within the church body of many of us who say that we have been saved for X number of years. And glory to God, some of us, even when you were very little. However, what happened when you were very little until the point now in your life is that we allowed things from the world, from the devil, to define who we are, to have a say in who we are. Right now, this very moment, God is asking you, will you be born again? Now, I'm not talking about rededicating your life. I'm not talking about all this. I'm not talking about you have to be rebaptized or you're not saved. Listen, that's between you and God. Amen. God loves you and he's for you. You are his beloved child. What I am saying and being obedient to what Holy Spirit is telling me is don't allow the world to take up real estate in God's property. Which means maybe you started cussing. Right? Which means maybe you started questioning your sexuality. Which means maybe you started hanging around with people that you know it's all about gossip, grumbling, complaining, back talk. Maybe you adopted just lashing out at your mom and your dad, thinking that it's cool because you're a teenager. I'm coming across a lot of that, but yet you say you're a Christian, but then the way you act is the same the way the devil would act. God right now is asking you, are you really mine? Because I'm going to tell you right now, you may think that you're not hurting anybody. You may think that I can do what I want. You're hurting Lord Jesus Christ. And what Holy Spirit is asking of you right now, beloved child of God, is will you set your mind on what God did to have you as his? What he went through when he sent Lord Jesus Christ and what Lord Jesus Christ did for you on that cross. Will you set your mind on, on that day that the trumpet goes off? Do I really want to be here left alone on this earth? My mommy, daddy, brother, and sisters went to be with the Lord in heaven. And here I am in this hell of an earth. 
Because that's what it's going to be like. This is, this is what it's going to be like. Without the presence of God, it's hell. I had somebody not too long ago ask me, an elderly gentleman, he says, define hell. And I said, the absence of the Father, of agape. Had nothing else to say. It's not about me being right. It has nothing to do with being right or wrong. It's all about worshiping Lord Jesus Christ and blessing his Holy Spirit. Amen? So I encourage you, please, you hear this word, you hear what Holy Spirit is speaking, and you hear and feel his anointing flowing through us right now. In Jesus' name, if there's some kind of darkness that has crept in you, that you know that it's not of God right now, confess it. Lord Jesus, forgive me. Lord Jesus, forgive me. I adopted this, this lust. I started looking at things that I shouldn't have looked at. Forgive me, Father God. Remove it. I set my mind on you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are seated at the throne. I set my mind on you. And as I set my mind on you, Lord, I'm being thankful. Because I know that you love me. And your Holy Spirit's overflowing through me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. So put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual morality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. Now I need to explain briefly, because I know I said we have a lot to cover, praise God, is when the Bible says that the wrath of God is coming, we have to keep in mind God is good, kind, perfect, Loving, he is agape. Can you get an amen? Now I know there's some of you right now going, okay, preacher, pastor, Joey, whatever you call me, whatever label, it doesn't matter to me. I'm a beloved child of God. Amen? There's some of you right now going, well, you just said the wrath of God is coming, but then you say God is good, kind, perfect, loving. This is why I want to express this to you. And I'm asking you, just like I'm asking God, examine me, God. Father, tell me, what, what am I doing to hurt you? Rebuke my pride. Forgive me, Father, for those that I hurt. Change me, Father God. I am so sorry. Amen? Because listen, beloved church family, when God's presence is no longer evil, evil, the enemy comes to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. This is wrath. This is wrath. Because no longer... Listen, when the trumpet goes off and, and Lord Jesus Christ takes his body, his property, he's going to take what's his, amen? Let me ask you, what's going to be left behind? Sure, sure, you're going to have good people. Sure, you are. You're going to have good people that didn't want to receive the good one, agape. They just did good things, right? But listen to the wrath of God. Because the wrath of God is where he isn't, where his presence is no longer evil. Darkness, darkness runs rampant. And don't you want God's presence in your life, in every area of your heart? Can you an amen? Which means that if there's something tormenting your thoughts, if there's something that's trying to drag you, in Jesus' name, all God is saying, set your mind on the Holy One. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Set your mind. Amen? Amen? Beloved church family, listen. You got children. I'm speaking to, I don't care how old you are. You could be my age, older, and you have parents that are alive. Praise God. Don't badmouth your parents. Regardless what they did to you. Regardless. Because guess what? It's either God or the devil. Amen? So every horrible thing that was done to you, I'm not making excuses for what they've done. But you have to come to terms realizing the devil did this. And God, I forgive him. For so long I carried that burden. I confessed that to you. And all it did was heap more condemnation. All it did was it heap more sin in my life. Until the point where I said, I don't want this no more. Can you say that with me? I don't want this no more. Amen. And the glory of Holy Spirit is agape saying, give it to me. Leave it at my feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's, let's get on. Let's move on. Praise God. Rejoice. Hallelujah. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived, right? Here's God saying, this, is, this used to be you, your dead old self. 
Here God is saying, check this out, verse 8. But now you must also rid yourself of all these things as anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Get rid of it. Amen? Do not lie to each other. Beloved church family, listen. That's running rampant right now. And I'm going to tell you right now. You just know that Lord Jesus Christ, the trumpet's going to go off. Because of all the chaos, all of the falling away. Right? Don't look at all those things. Pray for them. Amen? But here God is saying, let your yeses be yes and your noes be no. Don't lie. Because the moment you adopt lying, I don't care. Listen, once again, I don't care how old you are. Holy Spirit's teaching to every soul in Jesus' name. Amen? But once you allow lying to become part of who you are, God has nothing to do with that. And all that is is an open door for the enemy to invite more. More in. And it's nothing good. It's nothing good when the enemy invites demons in. You're talking about curses. You're talking about, you're talking about lack. You're talking about anxiety, depression, worry, right? Fear. Rebuke that. Say it with me. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Amen? Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices. I know you love it. How Lord Jesus Christ teaches us to be clothed in righteousness. Amen? And the same thing applies when God is teaching right here in verse 9 in Colossians chapter 3. Is that when God says put it off, it's just like you taking off your clothes, right? You just take it off. Amen? And God give us the ability, the power, the anointing through Holy Spirit to say no longer. Amen? No longer. There is no more excuses, beloved church family. We are the blessed generation of Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is coming back for us soon. We are a chosen holy generation that God has ordained to live and show the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ by being victorious in the way we live through Holy Spirit fruit in you and in me. Amen. Say it with me. Live victoriously. Hallelujah. Which means that it starts from within. It starts from my relationship with God Almighty. And it's in the presence of Holy Spirit in my life that it overflows. If you're married, over your spouse. Amen? It overflows over your spouse. Which means Holy Spirit's quickly now. Amen? Listen, I don't judge nobody. I can't. Because God is my only judge. Amen? God is the only one. But God is saying, what is the fruit of your marriage? Is it my fruit? Hallelujah. And if it's not, God has given us the ability right now to make this change, a miraculous change, by confessing to Lord Jesus Christ, repenting and saying, Father, I am no longer going to speak to my wife that way. Father God, I am no longer going to talk about my husband. Father, I'm no longer going to have a wandering eye. That, Father God, I would rather you gouge it out than, than me looking at other things. I would rather you just put blinders on me. That, Father God, that I could just stay focused on Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Verse 10 and 11, praise God. And praise God, we're moving on. It's an absolute miracle in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you for your prayers. Praise God. Verse 10. And have put on the new self. What is this new self? When you trust in agape, hallelujah, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and you know that I am now born again. Say it with me, trust, hallelujah. Which is being renewed in, say this word with me, knowledge, hallelujah. This is when you know that God is for me because Lord Jesus Christ came to save me and it's in his perfection that he died for me. And that he rose again so that I will be risen through him. Amen? In the image of its creator. And in the image of God, hallelujah, we are made in the image of God. Amen? Who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And when we know that we are made in the image of God. And our salvation is based on his salvation. And it's in this joy that we have this peace of Holy Spirit resurrection power 
in you and me. Resurrection power from Holy Spirit comes when you confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Holy Spirit now lives in you and in me, and it's in this image that we know now that we overflow. Amen? And this is part of what we discuss, praise God, in our worship service, in what Holy Spirit taught us as far as fighting the good fight. Amen? Let's move on. Hallelujah. There is no more Gentile or Jew, circumcised, uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. Amen? This is the power of God's perfect sacrifice of the Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ, in what Lord Jesus Christ did once and for all. That there is no more separation that because of Lord Jesus Christ, we only answer to one. Hallelujah, say that with me, one. One Savior, one Lord, one body. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And it's only through this one body, Lord Jesus Christ, that we have one Spirit in the Father, and His name is, hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Say it with me, unified in Jesus' name, amen? Therefore, <laughs> praise God, it's therefore reason, as God's chosen people, amen, say it with me, I am beloved, hallelujah, holy and dearly loved, praise God, there's some translations that say beloved, dearly loved, amen, say it with me, beloved, clothe yourself with compassion, now remember, with compassion, being compassionate is being, hallelujah, encouraging, amen, it's being encouraging because remember, the joy of our salvation is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is your salvation? Lord Jesus Christ. So the joy of your salvation, hallelujah, is manifested within me. And that brings us encouragement. Amen. That brings us compassion for one another. We don't judge one another. We don't grumble or complain or back talk or gossip. Right? We don't slander one another. Regardless regardless what they think their religion is or their beliefs, amen? Because remember, what makes you a special container? Amen. It's the treasure that's within. Amen. It's the masterpiece that is within. Hallelujah. Now remember, when you know that you're beloved and you're encouraging and compassionate, hallelujah, you know that agape is overflowing in your life and this is the kindness of Holy Spirit flowing from your heart. Amen. And the humility is forbearance. What is that? Holding back. Amen. Humility, holding back. Repentance. Amen. Repentance, which means I used to. My old self, I used to act this way, but I'm no longer. I used to disrespect. Now, that's dead and gone. I show respect. I show honor. Amen. I used to get angry. Now, that's dead and gone. Now I have peace. I have peace and I can minister to those who get angry because I realize it's the devil that wants me to react emotionally no longer. Amen. I used to worry. I used to have anxiety and depression no longer because now my focus is on Lord Jesus Christ and what he did for me through that cross. There's no greater pain than what Lord Jesus Christ endured on that cross being separated from the Father and having to go to hell for me. Amen? We say all that and it's all, in all those beloved different colors, right? Beloved, encouraging, agape, repentance. I know it says love, compassion, kindness, humility, but don't you love it in verse 13? It says bear. Huh? You remember, hallelujah, two weeks ago, bear fruit, amen? Bear with each other. Bear with each other. Hallelujah. And forgive one another. If any has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord has forgiven us. And over all these virtues, put on. Come on. Come on, beloved church. Say, say with me, put on. Hallelujah. Put on agape. Put on your identity. Every day, it doesn't matter how many times a day, praise God, it's continuously. I am a beloved child of God. Hallelujah. I am recovered through my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I am blessed. Amen. I am healthy. Hallelujah. 
I am the temple of God. Amen? And it's in faith as you speak, as you speak from what's in the Holy of Holies, God says, I hear you. So shall it be. Amen? So shall it be. And over all these, all, over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Amen? Don't you love it? I don't know how many chefs are worshiping with us right now. Many of you like to cook or break, right? There's always like that binding agent, amen? That's what, I, I guess, the terminology is, the binding agent, right? That you add it and you mix it and it binds everything together, hallelujah. And that is who agape is. That's who agape is. That's who our gospel is, amen? That's who our peace is, amen? Who is agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Isn't it beautiful that one of the main binding agents is an egg, and Holy Spirit just dropped this right now in my spirit. That a binding agent in baking or cooking is, is mainly like an egg. That's what Holy Spirit's telling me right now. There may be other substitutions, but in the egg, what is there in the egg, right? There's the yolk, right? There's the, there's the white part. I like to say red, but Trish says not red, it's orange. So it's the yolk, the orange, there's the white part, and there's the shell. Amen? Hallelujah! And here the Word of God is saying, Bind it all together in agape. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body, you were called to peace. You were called to bless Holy Spirit. You were called to be the vessel of Holy Spirit. You were called to be the light of God that goes and His light just shines through you and your beloved family. And that his presence will overflow and shower you in Jesus' name. Amen. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another. As you build each other up. Amen. Let's build each other up, beloved church family. Amen. How do we do that? Love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Bless Holy Spirit. And the glory of God is as you bless Holy Spirit. Oh my goodness. Whether it's in the community, at Walmart, wherever it is. Praise God, I love it when we see our beloved church family. Amen? Uh, listen, it doesn't matter what your building says on the outside. You have Jesus Christ as Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It's Holy Spirit's light that binds us together. It's agape that binds us all together. And don't you love it when you see someone, you're like, Hey, how you doing? Oh, praise God! And it's just, hallelujah. I just love it. Amen? And that's what heaven's going to be like. Praise God. And for eternity. Whoo, Hallelujah! With all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, say with me, from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your heart, and whatever you do, whatever in word or in deed, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Amen? The Father through Him. See, there's many religions right now and as the devil tries to run rampant in this fallen world, there's many that are deceived thinking that they can have God as a God without Lord Jesus Christ. Rebuke that, that's from the pit of hell. There's many religions right now that's trying to teach you can be spiritual. That's the bunny ears right there, spiritual. Oh, good spirits, good vibes, good, I hear that all the time. They think that you can have good spirit, good vibes, and everything else without Lord Jesus Christ. That's demonic. Why do you think we're in spiritual warfare? Amen? There's an order that God provided from the very beginning to the very end. The Alpha and Omega, and His name is Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only one beloved church family. And He is the foundation of everything that we do. He is the foundation, Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in this foundation as Lord Jesus Christ is our cornerstone, that we build upon that. And it's all through the obedience and the power of Holy Spirit's anointing. And I just thank God for your, for your obedience to bless Lord Jesus Christ in lifting up his name, being thankful, listening to Holy Spirit. And that you trust and you know that Holy Spirit, I hear you. I'm sorry, forgive me. I feel, I hear your conviction, I never want to hurt you. I repent, I never want to do that again. And I thank you, Father God, that you give me the power. You see, it's moments like this that we overflow through his anointing. 
And the glory of God is, is that as we allow his presence to flow in worship, hallelujah, as we allow his presence, his presence, say his name, Holy Spirit, as we allow Holy Spirit, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, as we allow his presence within to bless us and to flow through us, there is no way that you don't want to come together as the body of Lord Jesus Christ, for you are a member of Lord Jesus Christ. And I encourage you, praise God, in these last days before the trumpet sounds, reach out to your family. Amen. Share these messages, praise God. Share these messages. And I just thank you so much for your obedience in being led by Holy Spirit and following through in what Lord Jesus Christ commanded us to do. What is that? To love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the only one who can do that is Holy Spirit in you and in me. And when we love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, Holy Spirit will love everybody. Amen. Say it with me. Everybody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Love you so much, beloved church family. I pray in Jesus' name that this message, hallelujah, like it did me right now, just changed my heart, convicted me, changed my heart, and that I continuously ask God, I continue to ask God, bless me, O oh Lord, change me, O oh Lord. And Father, that you would live through me so that I can be a blessing to you first, Father God, and to everybody. Amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, Father God, for the seed that you sown into this earth. Your seed, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. And by the power, by your living water, Father God, you saturated that holy seed in Lord Jesus Christ. And on the third day, that seed, hallelujah, that seed rose again. And I thank you, Father God, that we are your fruit from that seed. The Holy Spirit, your fruit, is flowing through every one of your beloved children. Father, as I plead your holy and precious blood, Lord Jesus Christ, for everyone who has ears to hear, Father, I call them blessed in Jesus' name. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that your presence is flowing through their hearts and their minds like never before. And I thank you, Heavenly Father, that you bless us with seed to sow into your kingdom because we want to bless you first. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray and all God's beloved said, Amen! Hallelujah! Woo! Hallelujah! Praise God! And we thank everyone. Hallelujah! Thank you so much for sowing your seeds. Hallelujah! Thank you. We... We are so blessed in the overflow, amen? Please go to oacchurch.com, www.oacchurch.com, and there in our offering tab, you can give electronically, praise God, and it is secure through PayPal, and we just want to say thank you once again for your heart of worship and giving. Thank you so much for just being a blessing, once again, first and foremost to God. Oh, we love you so much, beloved church family, praise God. Oh, it's so awesome to see everybody on Sundays, hallelujah. Remember, let's just keep everyone lifted up. Keep pleading the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's just keep speaking life. Amen. And remember, let's love and honor, of course, God first. Amen. With all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. But let's honor one another. Let's love and honor one another. Amen. Amen. Children with your parents. Husbands with your wives. Wives with your husbands. Amen. It starts, it starts within. Hallelujah. And watch the miracles that will take place as virtue is flowing from heaven. Amen. God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Love you so much, beloved church family. I pray that I see you guys Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Remember Saturday night, the table worship service, Saturday evening. And praise God, if we don't, I'll see you in the next half an hour. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Love you. Mwah.